Hello, 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 everybody. How are you doing on this fabulous evening? I hope you are having a great day or a great night. It is evening time for me. Uh, yeah, it's 1 a.m. in the morning. So, you guys know me. I'm a night owl. And anyway, look at what I got. Let's see if I can show it to you this way. There we go. Oh, can't see it too good, but that's all right. It's Moon Lily from Dreamer's Design. Oh, my gosh. I waited. When I seen her, I jumped all over this one, okay? So, oh, yeah. Okay. I am unsure of what's going on right this second, but somebody... My phone is going bonkers. Anyway, I got, the, oh, Dreamer's Design, your little spinny thing needs to go away. Go, scoot, shoo. All right, this is called Moon Lily, and it is by Curtis Ryback. So, let's see. Oh, I don't have the gator blade. Oh, no, but that's okay. A fingernail will do. A fingernail will do. Now, <clears throat> Let's see if I can show you all this. Alright. On this, you get Dreamer's Cloud Canvas. You get uh, pre-sorted diamond pieces. Two stylus pins with multi-head uh, options. Two white diamond trays. Two wax caddies. Diamond straightening tool. Black diamond tweezers. Extra Ziploc bags. Reusable toolkit bag. Reusable carry bag instruction guide okay also comes with fantastic how-to directions on here as well now um sparkling diamonds with ab accents legally licensed full drill diamond painting that means the entire canvas is got drills on it okay so you always want to make sure uh whether it's got full drills on it or not now, you guys got to forgive me, okay? I am I am a little out of practice because you guys have kept me hopping so much on Nix's notions. To be totally honest, I haven't done an unboxing in about two and a half, maybe three weeks. So, if I forget something or what have you, throw a rock at me, okay? So, leave me a message, leave me a comment, throw something at me. I love Dreamer's Design because of the fact that, look at the box. I love this handle on these boxes. I really, really do. Keep the box. Do not ever throw the box away. Because if nothing else, after you finish the kit, put it back in a box, okay? Because unless you're going to frame it right away, it's good to put it back in a box because you don't want to leave it sitting out in the sunlight. I don't know if it'll fade the drills. I've never had none of mine fade, but at the same time, I haven't exactly left it in, in you know, direct sunlight either. So, uh, but mine, when I get done with them, either I put them back in a box or either I frame them like ASAP. So, but that's just my, my two cents. Uh, what you decide to do with, with yours is fine, but again, these boxes are really great and they're great for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Oh, goodness. This one's a big boy. Alright. I'm going to take my box and I'm going to put it over here to the side. Now, I've been doing... Oh, I've been trying to play catch up on videos. So, I've done four or five. I think this is number five tonight. Thank goodness my helper, King Sid, decided to go back to bed because he really was not a whole lot of help. Alright, this Dreamer's Design comes in this fabulous carry tote bag. I love, 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 oh goodness, I love these, these tote bags. It's that you can't rip them or tear them. I mean, I, I'm not sure what it's called. It's like a mesh, but I mean, not to mention it's branded. I am a sucker for branding. I love companies that, that do branding. So anyway, let's get in this. There is the drill kit. There is one pack of drills. Yep, this is a two-packer. 
Oh my god, Moon Lily is gonna be so freaking cool. Now, right this minute, I've got y'all stretched pretty high up, and I'm most probably fixing to stretch you up some more, uh, just so you can see the see the kit or, or see the canvas, and then we'll I'll pull you back down and we'll get to the rest of the stuff in, in a minute. Okay, so let me go ahead and lift you up some more. Hang on, here we go. That way you can get and see everything. All right, sorry if I'm making anybody seasick. All you got to do is send me your address. I'll send you some drama meme. Now, um, Dreamers Design comes with this really cool silk ribbon. Uh, I kind of like that too. But purple is my favorite color. Now, due to the fact that this is poured glue, I am going to roll it backwards. And what that does is it will help release the tension in the canvas a little bit and help it lay down. However, it would lay down on a, on its own if you just laid it out on a kitchen table upside down. You gave it about 30 minutes. But for me, I don't have 30 minutes because you guys want to see what this looks like. So anyway, I am going to kind of cheat a little bit. Roll this backwards. So you guys can see everything. Now some people like these foam things. I use them. Okay. Especially when I'm working on humongous size canvases. They come in handy because I roll my canvases up as I'm working on them. I'll either have it rolled one way if it's undone. Or I'll have it rolled another way if it's done. Because if the part, the section that is done, um, I will roll facing out okay that way the drills are up and they're not grinding against each other the section that's not done i roll in and i put one of these in the part that's already done that way it doesn't crush the drills so um and then i just take two little clippies and i'll put little clippies on the end so it keeps everything kind of kind of all you know nice and neat um now is it environmentally friendly no no after a while, you you only need one, you know, so, I mean, really. But anyway, here we go. Oh, my gosh, would you look at that. If you like pink and or purple, this girl is for you, okay? I mean, that's all she is, is pink and purple. I don't even, if there's any black in here, let's see, is there any three tens in here? Well, yeah, there is a three tens in here, but I tell you what, it I, I don't see three tens, I see purple. So I don't know where the black is at, but for the most part, it looks like it's all, you know, pink and purple. And I'm talking neon pink and purple, too. So here's her kitty. And then you've got your bear. So, yeah, and then here's her hat, her moon hat. All right, let's see. Moon Lily is legally licensed by Curtic Kurt. Oh, I, I called him Kevin forever. Okay, the man really needed to change his name to Kevin because I couldn't get Curtis out of my mouth. Anyway, he's Curtis Ryback. Or right, right. I've heard people pronounce it the other way. I call him Ryback. I'm sorry if it's mispronounced. Size is 60 by 80 or 23.6 by 31.5 inches. On the other side, it says join the Dreamer community. And here is all of their cyber information. Um, their Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I got I to gotta hit them up on Instagram and Pinterest. Here is your legend or key code that is on the right side. You've also got another one on the bottom left over here. Now on this bottom, it says free Dreamers Design Lifetime Warranty. We have you covered. Uh, to ensure the latest... Oops, sorry. To ensure lasting perfection, enjoy Dreamer Uh-Oh Insurance against accidents as well. Trust me, they, if you dump your drills, all you do is contact them. I mean, if the dog eats your canvas, all you gotta do is contact them. No joke. They will literally replace it. At the bottom is Paint with Passion, and then you've got Dreamer's Design over here on the end. 
Now, <clears throat> I have to tell you guys, okay, I, Dreamers Design has a lot of, of, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Whew. Squirrel, my ADHD's on fire tonight. Uh, they have a lot of landscapes, okay? I am not a landscape person. I don't do landscapes. I, I don't know. Uh, they, they don't keep my attention long enough and I get bored with them because, I don't know, it's a house, okay? Or a tree or, or a bird or something, but it really doesn't catch my attention. So, Dreamers Design, I have the girls, I have Curtis Ryback's girls, and I have all of Curtis Ryback's girls that Dreamers Design has come out with, which I've got three more of the sisters in there in my living room that I'm going to be doing unboxings for. It's just she just walked through the door, and she is the latest one that is just come out. She was just released, I want to say, last Friday. Let me see. Let me look here. Because I ordered her on the day that she was released. Alright, uh, let's see, I ordered on 1029, and it was $59.99, $6.99 shipping, 76,800 drills, it's a full canvas, 66 colors, 4 ABs, and I want to say I had a coupon. So, yeah, which normally I have yet to pay full price for anything, I pretty much use my coupons for everything. So, uh, we will, I'm going to pull you guys down here in a minute, and we're going to look at the drills. Uh, I wanted to show you the, the key code here real quick. Um, and again, like I said, I'm going to pull you down. She's rather large, so I'm kind of fighting on the size here. Um, so, see, I stand up to show you guys this lovely, beautiful canvas, and what happens my ferrets think it's party time. So, not one, but all of them have decided to get up and help mom do an unboxing. So, okay guys, I'm going to pull y'all down. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, will you look at those eyes? Will you look at those eyes? Now, let me find my mouse here and... Get you guys straightened up on the... Because, I, I mean, look, would you look at her eyes? Look at this. Look at how crystal clear that canvas is. Look at that. I mean, honestly, her eyes are just amazing. Look at the cat's eyes. Look at that. And I mean, even with all of that pink, look at those symbols. You can read them perfectly clear. There is, I don't see any problems, any issues whatsoever with this canvas. Now, while I got you up here, let me show you the key code. Because there is a lot. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pull this in half. There is a lot of, there is 66 colors in this. So, here we go. I'm looking. I really don't see anything that's going to give me a hard time. Those, number 20, let's see, 25 right here. Those doggone half square triangles give me fits. Those give me fits. That, I've never seen before. That one's new. I did see this one earlier in another kit. But, I've never seen this one before. Um, I guess when you get into 66 colors, you kind of have to be creative with the symbols. But anyway, guys, that's it. Oh, and the anchor. Let's see, the anchor right here. That one's new. I've never seen that one before. So anyway, uh, which by the way, the scratching and what have you here in the background, that's, that's the ferrets. I have five free range ferrets. Okay, they are from the knee down. I am from the knee up. However, they think they own the whole doggone office. So, I have to work around them. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to fold this canvas over and we're going to take a look at the drills now. First, let's look at this fabulous kit. Oh, 
I love this bag. This bag is so soft and so squishy. I keep saving the bags, okay, because I don't know what I'm going to make with the bags, but I'm going to make something. Because they are really... Guys, what are you doing? Ellie, excuse me one moment, please. Ellie, stop that. Now, it's gone, okay? Good gravy. Oh, my goodness. There was something that, uh, there was a, uh, um, what is those? They look like mosquitoes, but they got the really long legs. It was on the wall. And she was killing herself trying to get to it, and that's what you guys kept hearing. So, my sincere apologies about that. I had to go and fly swat the, the critter that was on the wall. So now maybe they will go lay down and go back to sleep. All right. So in this, oh gosh, this is so soft. I swear I think I'm going to make little pillows out of them. Or either I'm going to take them apart and use the material and, ma and make me a big pillow out of them. Because it, I don't know, it's, it is just crazy soft. All right. In your kit, you get two drill pins and you also get... Uh, multi-placers let's see you also get your multi-placer this looks like a four placer that's a three placer and your two pins okay you also get your scrunchies that go on the pin now some people say that this here this one is used for a B drills um I've never used this kind of tip, so I cannot honestly say. Um, you also get, well now with a square drills, you also get tweezers. These tweezers are extremely, extremely sharp. I mean, like, will kill somebody sharp, okay? Uh, so please make sure that you keep the lid on them. Uh, at all times, especially if you have animals in the house or young kids that knock stuff off your table. Because trust me, I knocked these off the table the other day and they fell and hit my hardwood floors and stuck in the floor. Okay, thank goodness one of my babies was not under my feet because it would have it would have hurt them. So please, please be, be cautious with these because they are really, really bad. You also get two branded boats i am a sucker for brandon you also get two not one but two dreamer design pots of wax i want to say that there is two. Oh, there's only one there's a pod, pod of wax you get extra baggies for your leftover drills dreamers design always 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 gives you extra drills so you will have leftover drills so don't throw them away either Keep them because you know you if you have another kit or something and you run out of drills who's to say you don't have that color drill that's left over from this kit so I always keep all my drills um, and you just put them in put them in the bags here I hope I was in camera I have not even been paying the first lick of attention sorry about that if this is a bad video then honestly I will delete it and start all over so anyway you get your instructions that come with it. And they again, they are on Facebook and Instagram. And here's your how-tos with great, great, um, you know, big pictures. And again, diamond painting is really not hard. I mean, it's, it's not rocket science. But at the same time, you know, uh, when it comes to multi-placing and stuff like that, um, you know, again, if you're a beginner, it's good to kind of just, you know, do them one at a time until you kind of get, you know, a little, a little bit of, of a couple of kits under your belt. Now, these are your labels that go on your, um, that go on your kit you I use the little bottles the little round bottles and I'll put these on the lid of the bottles and uh, some people use Harbor Freight boxes or the Joe uh, um, 
Elizabeth Ward boxes. So yeah, these are really great. They are they are serrated, so all you do is just peel and stick. Uh, no cutting, no nothing, which is fantastic. Love that. I love that they started this. Also, too, you get extras down at the bottom. Don't throw these away. Keep them, okay? Because you can take a Sharpie and write on them for other stuff. I have got a ton of these that, you know, it's, I save them because guess what? It's better than going to Walmart and buying them. So after a while, you end up with a pretty good chunk of them. So, but this is this is all the symbols, and like I said, see that I don't I don't see anything odd or weird. I will go slow so you guys can see. Um, again, I don't I don't see anything that's you know crazy. Let me put it that way. Um, other than maybe a couple of the that well, that's a seven. Okay, that's a seven. I thought it was a T there for a minute, but nope, that's a 7. Um, yeah, I see nothing. Like I said, and it's got 66 colors. Love that. So, alright, so let me set this to the side here, because we don't want any of that to get messed up. And let's take a look at our drills. Now, this is a two-bagger. Alright, I do love the fact that they have got the name on the bag of the drill. The, um, the bag of drills, let me correct myself here, because of the fact that some people will separate the bags from the canvas, and they will take and they will store these in another place, and they'll take the canvas, and they'll hang them up on pants hangers, and then hang it in the closet. And what that does is that releases the canvas and allows the canvas to stretch and breathe and what have you. Uh, me, personally, I do not do that. Uh, due to my ADHD and my, ooh, shiny and squirrel moments, uh, yeah, I keep everything. When I'm done with this unboxing, I literally put it back exactly the way it came out. That way I don't lose anything, misplace anything. And when I get ready to do this kit, it's all there, including the drill pins, the wax, the whole shoot and match. It all goes back in the way it come out. So, um, but yeah, if you do separate, you know, again, uh, it's great that, you know, now they're starting to put the names on the bags. Um, let's see, this is bag number... Okay, this is bag number one. That looks like bag number two. Okay, I'm fixing to open this, so if you have earbuds or headphones, please mute me until you see me finished, okay? Because I don't want to bust your eardrums. Oh my gosh, will you look at all these colors. Oh. Alright, um... Okay, here we go. We got 152, 155, 159, 209, 210, 223, 300, 310, I just thought about something, okay, anything that is 150 or below is an AB, and I was double checking because there is ABs in here, are supposed to be, uh, yeah, according to the sticker sheet, there is one, two, there's four ABs in here, Okay, maybe I ain't got them yet. Alright, anyway, back to what we're doing. Alright, there's 310 once, 310 twice, 310 three times. Next is 796, 797, 798, 799, 813, 814, 818, 819. Wow, these colors are literally just a smidge off. Look at that. You can't even tell the difference between those two. 820 times 2. 
You have 3607. Let's see, is that it? 36, oh, no, that's 52. All right, 3607, once, twice. 3608, once, twice. 3609, 3746, 3750, 3826, 3840, 3843. Look at those drills. I mean, those are fantastic. I don't see, other than a little bit of static, but that's a gimme, okay? It's winter time. We got the heater on. You're going to have static in your drills. No matter what you do is you can take a dryer sheet and cut up little squares and put in your either the the plastic uh, I use little plastic jars and I cut up dryer sheets and put in there also too with your trays wipe your trays down with a brand new dryer sheet okay because that also helps reduce the static but yeah these are like really really good oh I missed one all right, let's see. There is 3847, 3848, 3856. Ah, here's our ABs. There is AB08. Can you all see that? Look at that. That is just... AB is Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put on to, dr to drills to make them shine more. It gives them a rainbow effect. Uh, Aurora Borealis is kind of like what you see in like Alaska, okay, in northern places. Um, or they call it the northern lights. It's called the Aurora Borealis. But on your drills, uh, like I said, it's an iridescent coating. And what it does is it, it kind of gives those drills a rainbow. So when the lights hit it, you get all different colors of the rainbow from it. I don't know if you can see it in the, in the camera, but it does. It, it reflects all kinds. And when you put it next to the drills that don't have, um, you know, uh, the coating on it, it kind of makes the whole kit and the whole, you know, the whole picture shine. So, they're really pretty. Uh, however, they can be a pain in the butt. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, if you are using a wax in your single placer or your multi placer and you go to put down ABs, it will pull the wax out of the tip of your pen. So, instead of going straight down to put your drill down you have to put your drill down tilt your pen and pick up if not every time that AB is going to pull the wax out of the tip of your pen and it's going to aggravate you to death I don't use wax on my pens anymore I use those micro mini dots and I roll them up like a like a little snake kind of like what we used to do when we were kids with silly putty we used to roll it up in a snake well, I take those micro mini dots and I roll them up, I fold it in half, and then I put it in the tip of my pen, and I take my tweezers, my pointy tweezers, and I kind of push it down there a little more. Uh, be careful you don't damage the tip of your pen, though, if you use the tweezers. But, yeah, that's what I use. And then I'll take and I'll rub it on my jeans or I'll rub it on my shirt to get uh, so it's not as sticky. And then uh, I use them on the ABs and works perfect. I have no problem. But when I first started diamond painting using ABs, oh my lord, I almost threw the whole painting out the door because it aggravated me so bad. Because every time I would go to put down an AB drill, it pulled the wax out of the end of my pen. So, anyway, we got the blue ABs here AB46 or number 66. So, anyway, guys, um,. I'm going to I'm not going to open the second one, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to show you the colors cuz I got a ferret trying to crawl up on my desk here. Uh also normally with the two baggers, I I don't open both bags because I don't want anything to get lost or you know, shuffled around or whatever. Like I said, I try to kind of keep everything together. So, um, anyway, I mean, you've seen the drills. 
they are literally pristine. I mean, there is no dimples in the back. There is no little wobblies, nubblies on them. Uh, other than a little bit of static, but that's easy enough to fix. Um, really. I mean, look at that. They, they look perfect. So, again, and with it being winter and having a heater on, you know, um... You're going to have static. You're just going to. There is there is no way to get around it. But just take and, you know, like I said, after you put it in your container, take and cut up little bitty squares, about one inch by one inch, and put it in your container with your drills, and then just shake the fire out of it. And that pretty much will get the static out. So, anyway, guys, um, that is... Sorry for the, the noise. I hope I'm not busting your eardrums here. But anyway, that is going to be it for Moon Lily by Curtis Ryback. Not Kevin, Curtis. I swear for the first two videos, I called that man Kevin. I told him that he needed to change his name to Kevin because for some reason or other, I just decided his name needed to be Kevin. Now, as far as your A, B's, let's see, it's a, um, it's the zero, it's the M, it's the anchor, and it's the three. So, here's your zeros here. So, you're going to have your white A, B's here, and in the I's, in your stars, and let's see, then you've got M's, um, let's see, where's M's? Okay, there's got to be M's in here somewhere, and those were, up oh, there they are, they're in her face, down here, it's that lavender color, uh, that light lavender, now with AB's, again, they sprinkle them through, you don't want a big whole pile of AB's, because really it takes away from the definition of the picture, or my opinion, okay, this is my two cents. Uh, I have yet to do a full diamond painting that is nothing but ABs. Do they sell them? Yes. Um, doesn't interest me though. Do I, I don't mind them being sprinkled out through because it really does enhance the, the diamond painting. But for it, the whole thing to be ABs, I can't see where that would be, you know, too pretty. But again, this is my two cents only. If you want to try it, hey, I am all for it. You go for it. Message me. Send me pictures. Let me see how it looks. You know, let me know how you did with it. Uh, let's see. The next is an anchor. And that is around her eyes here. Uh, again, they're just little bitty, you know, dots of color here and there. And then you got threes, which are blue. Um, and they're down in her hair here. So, yeah, you've kind of got them all kind of scattered down around here. But, man, if you love pink and purple, this girl is for you. I've done Hazel. I love Hazel. I was, I was just, oh, honey, when she come out, when Moon Lily come out, and I found out, one, she was squares, and two, she was hazel. Trust me, my fingers were on fire clicking that add to cart and pay now button, okay? She didn't even hit, the, I hit the refresh button on that website every split second until she finally showed up. When she showed up for sale, it was in my cart, it was boom, paid for because she's square. All of the other ones were round. And it was like, oh, I I am I love my squares. To me personally, they bring so much more definition to a a uh a, an image, okay? Or your diamond painting. They give you a lot more detail, a lot more definition. A lot of people like rounds because they're quick, they're fast, they're easy. They don't have to fight with lining them up and all like this. But honestly, I like squares. And in the end, okay, your squares are going to line up. Because the canvas is only so big. And what you do is when you finish, 
Okay, you lay it on the floor, you lay it on the table, and I take my wooden rolling pin. You know, like what you roll biscuits out with or, or what have you. I take my wooden rolling pin and I put the muscle in it now. And I, I make sure that all these drills are pushed down into this glue. And you'll hear it pop, 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 pop. And what it does is they literally line themselves up because, again, there's only so much room on this canvas. So when you go and you apply pressure, they all squeeze together and they all line up. Now, here's another thing. This is poured glue, okay? So right this minute, it's very sticky. But once you put the drills on it and once you remove the cellophane from it, the glue dries, okay? Well, when the glue dries, the glue is going to uh, shrink together. Shrink. Let me get that word out. Is going to shrink together. So it's also going to draw those drills together and it's going to tighten them up. So if you see a river or something like that or they're not exactly all lined up, don't spaz out. Don't panic, okay? Because line them up the best you can when you're putting them down. Another thing with poured glue, if you put it down and it's not straight, move it. Okay, take your pen, put your pen on top of it, and move it wherever you want it to go. Okay, and, and it'll sit. It'll stay there. If you use double-sided sticky tape, those don't really move. And if you do manage to get it to move somewhere, normally it kind of goes back wherever it was. And that's because it's tape, and it really doesn't stretch. So with glue, once you put the drills down... Okay, and it's uncovered, not to mention you've finished the piece and you've done put the rolling pin over it and you've literally got them all compressed together. They literally straighten themselves out. Now, this is with squares, okay? Same thing happens with the rounds, but with the squares, everybody's like, oh, it's too hard or I can't get them lined up enough or they have uh, OCD like me. Okay, in the very beginning, oh my lord, it was like, you know, making sure that doggone square was lined up just pristine and perfect, you know, and I've got the ruler out, you know, and I'm making sure that they're all straight and lined up, you know, and everything, and it was like, oh my lord. I swear that first diamond painting, my very first diamond painting was squares, because I didn't know any different, and it was a uh, masquerade of, um, uh, Valentine masquerade. By Diamond Art Club squares, and I had these big old gapping rivers in there and everything. And I thought it was ugly when I was done. I was proud of myself because I finished it, but I thought it was ugly because I had these big old wide gaps in it, and you could see where the crews were. Well, I laid it out on my sewing table. And, you know, because I hadn't got a frame for it yet because it was so humongous, I wasn't sure where to get a frame. So, I laid it out on my sewing table after I'd done the rolling pin, because I'd seen enough YouTube videos of, you know, people saying, hey, take your rolling pin, you know, and go over it, make sure they're all pressed down into the glue and what have you. Well, after I did that, I laid it on the table and left it for about two weeks. Well, I was going through my kitchen and walked past my, my crafting table, and I stopped and looked at it, and I noticed that all the rivers were gone. And it was kind of like, you know, they had literally disappeared. Well, what happened was over time, over that two-week period of time, the glue underneath started drying up, okay? And when it started drying, like Elmer's glue or any other kind of glue, it shrinks. And what it did was it pulled all those drills together, and they all butted up, and they all lined up, and it literally turned out perfect. So... Don't be scared of square square drills, seriously. Other than the fact that they take a little longer to do, um, but I, I did hazel in three weeks. Uh, now, hazel was round. I did uh, mask, uh, Valentine Masquerade in three and a half weeks, and that was one of my very first diamond painting kits, and it was square. So, I know if I can do it in three and a half weeks, I know you can too. And it's not hard. Uh, I did buy the ruler. I used it for all of maybe two hours and, and chunked it in the corner. 
And I tried the tic-tac-toe board thing. That didn't work too well either until finally it was like, okay, multi-placer, boom, there we go. And down it went. But anyway, guys, this is Moon Lily. And I'm going to pull you up a little bit here so y'all can see the rest of her. I have new camera equipment coming soon. So guess what? I'm going to have autofocus and auto zoom and all that good stuff. So, check out her. I, I love her necklace here. Check out check out her necklace. And her bow. That's a big old bow right there. And her teddy bear in her hair. But I love this right here. And I love the fact that it squares. Because, oh my gosh, this the detail on this is literally... It is just going to pop. And her belt here. And her bustier. So, oh my gosh, yes. If you don't have this kit, let me see. Let me let me look and see if it's still available or if they are sold out. Okay, right this minute it is 1:32 a.m. in the morning, and it is November the 10th, 2021. 2021. Uh, okay. According to Dreamer's Design, it is available. It is $59.95. Um, yeah, I can't believe it's still available. That is very shocking. So, don't run, but walk. Uh, don't walk, but run and go get you one. Really. Because one thing about, you know, uh, Dreamers Design, I love them to death. But when they're sold out, man, talk about a slow boat from China. It takes them a while to get their restocks. Uh, I've got, uh, yeah, I got one that I'm waiting to come in right this minute that I pre-ordered. I got four waiting to come in from Diamond Art Club. And all this mess going on with the boats out there and not enough people to g unload the stuff and what have you. So, yeah, so get ready for that. But anyway, Moon Lily is still available on Dreamers Design for $59.95. Make sure you get your coupons. There's always coupons everywhere. Um, so anyway, guys, I think that is going to be it for this unboxing. I have showed you the sticky. I've showed you the key code. I think I've showed you everything because it never fails. As soon as I turn off the, off the camera, it's like, man, I forgot this or I forgot that. But anyway... I think that I have managed to get everything tonight. So, I'm going to do my shout-outs. I would like to say thank you to Jim Weeder, his lovely wife Kate, Michelle, or I old, and Joy Martin for being a Buy Me a Coffee channel supporters. I would also like to say thank you to Kendra Francisco and Debbie Day for buying me five cups of coffee. I love you guys. Air kisses. You guys are so, so, so greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, big gratitude. Big gratefulness. Big, big, big thank yous. If you would like to help support my channel, click on the Buy Me a Coffee. You can either become a, a monthly channel supporter for a very small fee, or you can just buy me one cup of coffee. And or please do not feel like you have to do anything. You just being here is satisfaction enough for me. However, if I would have to ask you for anything, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down, but give it something. Okay, guys? Um, if this video has helped you out and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you get more crazy videos from Nick's Dark Sky. So anyway, I am going to say thank you, thank you, thank you once again for being here. So be happy, be crafty, and above all else, please, please be kind. It is so rough out there these days, and everybody is just so grr right this minute, and it's the holidays. It takes one second of kindness to make somebody's entire day so when you're out at walmart or the grocery store or wherever just remember you know it that that one little second of kindness will help make that cashier get through the rest of her shift okay so just keep that in mind anyway guys 
Have a fabulous day. Bye for now, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.